Boxing is a controversial sport that has enjoyed both highs and lows in the Tucson area. Positive for many of our Tucson youth is Gilbert Mariscal, local boxing promoter. Gilbert has seen many of our local youngsters pull themselves up by the bootstraps to the grueling disciplines of boxing and is here to talk about that. Also with us today is the exciting new prospect in the junior welterweight division, John Sally, and joining the three of us in conversation is trainer Jimmy Montoya. Welcome, gentlemen, all of you to those Thank moments. You. Nice to have you on our show. Gilbert, uh, last time you and I talked about the boxing program, you made some interesting observations, and one of your, your the most interesting that I thought was that you consider boxing to be an outlet for many of our Tucson kids. Well, it is, and it's, it's proven uh, after the last time we, had, we were on the show, we've got some of our fighters got rated a little bit higher. We now have the two fighters that are really rated and uh, in championship material, mm -hmm. and that's just a start. We've got some other up-and-coming fighters that since that time have really developed. And you've been working really <clears> hard <throat> in the Tucson area. I know that you've put on some tremendous shows out there. Uh, it's a hard thing to stay into. The, the uh, economic support sometimes isn't there, and, and it's a very costly thing to do, this promotion. You were ready to throw in the towel. Yeah, after my last fight, um, I had the news media give me the coverage. My last fight was it. If I didn't get the turnout that I wanted, I wasn't going to throw away any money anymore. I mean, that was it. It's a lot of hard work. And uh, I announced it, the newspaper published it, and the turnout was not quite as good as I wanted, but I did have a good turnout. And when I got up and announced that I was going to retire from promoting, I got responses from a lot of people. I got business cards. They wanted to help out. Mm -hmm. They want to donate money. Now they want to come forth and do this and that. So I know now, deep inside, that Tucson uh, has boxing here to stay, and, and I'm going to continue. We're going to keep it alive. Yes. John, what does that mean to somebody like you? Uh, John Sally is a, a new boxer. You've been around for, for a little while, and you have five professional fights now, five, I might say, five knockouts in, in the mm -hmm. great start. Yeah. What does news like this mean to you? Well, news like this makes, makes Arizona, uh, to me, just coming along in the sport and having Gilbert put on shows here in Tucson, it just give me a chance to fight a little bit more often because Phoenix is starting to slow down as far as promoting. Uh, they put a show on there last week that I fought on. But before that, uh, they're not putting too many shows on up there. Gilbert's going to start throwing them maybe once a month, once every couple months. It's going to give me a chance to fight a little bit more often in the Valley. Mm -hmm. now, Gilbert, I know that you have high hopes for, for John. You, you've been telling me about him now for the last couple of weeks, and I know that you're real excited about him. He is. John is, um, in a sense, like Mike Tyson is in your heavyweight division. That's what we're going to do with John. And for a lot of the people that I put a nickname of Italian Stallion on him because he's of an Italian descent, but I guess his real nickname is uh, Say No More because after he gets in the ring with you, it's, that's exactly what happens. Uh, I figure that by the end of this year, the way, we're, the way we're pushing him, the way they do Mike, because he's that strong, he's that dedicated, uh, I believe that he'll have 20 knockouts before the, well, now we're getting to December. I would say more like 11 knockouts before the end of this year. Okay. So he's really going to be working hard. You're going to be fighting him. Sometimes don't uh, bringing boxing back into Tucson and keeping it strong. John, uh, before we run out of time here, we've got about a minute left. I want to talk okay. to you a little bit about, do you know your opponent at all? Uh, Sam Houston is his name. He's from Los Cruces, New Mexico. I heard he's a good puncher. And that's about really all I know about him. I don't get films or anything like that. Any, anything special, any special plans for the, for the fight? Uh, I just want to box. You know, I got to box, counter punch. I uh, use my head, you know, I can't get too wild because he's a good puncher. If I get caught, you know, I can go down too just as well as he can. Mm -hmm. And are, 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 we, are we making a prediction for the first yeah, he's round? Yeah, he's going to fall. First round? <laughs> Second round. <laughs> Second round, okay. All right, thank you very much, all of you, for joining me. Jimmy, thank good to have you on our you. show. Thank nice you to you have much. you, John and no Gilbert. Thanks, good okay. to have I hope you everybody comes to see the show. You bet. Gay Junior welterweight champ, Gene Hatcher. Now, Hatcher may have lost the fight. However, look at those Hawaiian blue trunks. I mean, he stole the show. Too bad, though, he couldn't fight for himself because those trunks didn't do the job. Warren won an easy 10-round unanimous decision. And tomorrow, don't miss the opportunity at Graham Studio West to see the Valley's junior middleweight prospect, John Sally. Here, Sally puts away Martin Fernandez. Now, Sally is 8-0 with eight knockouts. He'll try to make it 9-0 against Rocky Grinello. It's uh, my southpaw style, I think, creates problems for most opponents. And uh, something about my punching power, I don't know what it is. I can I punch pretty hard with either hand, though. I've developed my left hand almost to the point where 
it's as powerful as my right, and I'm right-handed to begin with, and I, but I fight southpaw. So I'm a converted southpaw, I guess. Fight time tomorrow is 10 o'clock, and does that guy look like a fighter to you? Mean left all. hand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you, Ronnie. Marvin Hagler could... <laughs>